This is uh, uh, day 10 of uh, boot camp series uh, of a FOSA PUP CE4. On a, a previous uh, a day 9 episode, we uh, started to uh, go ahead and uh, configure and set up a, a tray, JWM tray here. And uh, I have further modified by adding a little space here, spacer here. 60 here and similarly I also added uh, a spacer here at the end uh, so otherwise uh, I also added a little space here uh, 45 here to make it rather symmetric uh, in a sense one of the major things that sort of uh, is a little bothersome is that this uh, menu here is uh, very easy to see but this uh, against the dark background, this uh, red color is uh, pretty much hidden. I can't really tell. Uh, so what I want to do here is uh, uh, further uh, make this into a white color to make it rather symmetric. And then we're also going to work on how to uh, uh, modify the uh, pager with our six pager workspaces, but it's very, very difficult to see. But first, let's go ahead and work on how to uh, uh, change the color of this icon. So when we look at this icon, uh, this is the uh, leaf puppy uh, icon here. And here is the icon itself. Uh, this is USR share. This is where the icon is. Uh -huh. So what we need to do is uh, load this up in a program GIMP. And then we're going to change the color into white and then reload it here. So this is uh, the first step. So since uh, GIMP is not installed by default in uh, CE4, what we want to do is go ahead and bring our Puppy Package Manager uh, and then uh, install GIMP. So we'll go ahead and GIMP. And then you can see that there is a uh, GIMP here and I've o actually already installed it but uh, on a default uh, uh, version there you just have to go through and do it and then let it install. So after it's installed what you can do is just go ahead and use the com this command on terminal because that this is where the uh, where the icon is so what we can do at this point is just start the uh, terminal and then copy so GIMP and then enter information as to what's going to be loaded so we'll say OK and so this what we want to do is change this color to white so what you uh, easiest way to do this is uh, as soon as you open up a GIMP make sure this foreground is white and then what you want to do is uh, use the bucket tool, what's called a bucket tool, because that's going to uh, pour the uh, white paint onto this. So when you have clicked this uh, bucket tool and this is white, make sure that it's not, default is the other way around, black is foreground, so it will just make it the white. And then when you look at the bucket fill here, we want to use foreground color fill because foreground is white. And after that's done, you should be able to just click on the red part and that should turn white. We're going to do that again for this uh, vertical line also. Okay, now what we have to do is just save it. Okay, and what you do, way you do that is go to uh, File and you have to use export as don't use save as you want to use export as and then is we gonna this is the uh by default is the uh, same folder where you the source is so what you want to do is uh, it'll be uh, easier just to change the name into white for example and then uh this because it hasn't been a uh, it hasn't been set up properly or or I think that there is a way of getting around this but there is you have to change this to PNG 
That's the easiest way. Don't save it as SVG. SVG was loaded, but we're gonna change the extension and then make it PNG and get uh, and then save it in the same folder. But we're gonna change the name to white. Now I've just done the, this just before this recording, so you'll probably give me a, a warning. So we'll say export and then replace. We'll, so you. Uh, we're just going to replace the one that I just made it before. So we're going to replace it. Now it's going to give you a further uh, window and you want to say we want to export it. Okay. Now uh, it's actually done already. So what we're going to do is just close this. Uh, I'll just use F4 in my case. We're going to discard, discard changes. Okay. Now what we need to do is go back to the tray again. And then this time, we're going to change the name to same folder, but we're going to say it's white. Dash white dot PNG. Uh, I believe that's correct. And then we're going to save it. And we now we're going to reload the JWM again. So now this much uh, uh, better, okay. Now next thing, uh, what we uh, want to do is change the uh, pager uh, color, uh, and uh, so that's we'll have to use another tool, and we'll continue on. Uh, let me get it set up first. First, what we need to do is open up a JWMRC dash uh, theme uh, file. So. Just get type this into the terminal and you'll get this right here. So this is what you're gonna see in a genie. And uh window styles has to do with a uh style up here of the test bar and uh and next is tray styles has to do with here the indicate indicator of what's opened in that particular uh, workspace. Uh, right now, the pager style is uh, uh, is our main purpose of the, just making this um, um, much more visible. So uh, we're gonna cheat a little bit, and if you replace the pager style with this particular uh, set of uh, uh, command uh, we can just copy it and then we can go ahead and put it in the pager styles right here because right now it's very hard, difficult to see that there's actually six uh, workspaces so we're gonna just replace it with the control V nice replaced and we're gonna go ahead and save that and now we're gonna reload the uh, 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 J uh, the J JWM control shift and R in my case and see how uh, much is changed. So now you can clearly see that we're in uh, uh, workspace number four, for example. And then, uh, and then here is the test li uh, task list uh, that we'll work on. So, and you can also see that you can see, for example, right now we can go ahead and start our uh, rocks here, and you can see that there is a besides rocks there is what's Genie, you can see that clearly that things are much more uh, easily visualized here. Next, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, try to change these uh, uh, letter, mainly lettering and so on, c color by uh, replacing the tray uh, with these lines into the. Uh, JWM theme. So this is the tray styles here. We're gonna replace all that with his this, and then we're gonna go ahead and save. And then now we're gonna look at the uh, changes that's gonna come on. We're gonna say Control Shift and R again, and see how it's changed. So the not only the coloring size, but also the background has uh, has changed. So uh, this gradient 
appearance they give you three dimensional is by these two colors. This first color having two different colors makes it uh, three dimensional look alike. So this first color you can tell is by look, clicking on this uh, color icon is red. So red evolves into black. And then uh, so this is the black color. You uh, go ahead and uh, drag across and then see what the color is. That's really black. Okay, so that's how you get uh, this three-dimensional gradual uh, gradual color difference. So I think that's a significant improvement. And then, uh, and I think we'll stop there for uh, this uh, session.